friends and welcome to Lila Licious. My name is Regina and today I'm going to show you how to make salted dark chocolate fudge. Homemade fudge is a classy treat to make around the holidays and my version couldn't be any easier. It just takes a few ingredients and a very easy method, no candy thermometer needed. First up, we need chocolate. This recipe works with any type of chocolate from white, milk to semi-sweet, but I like to use dark chocolate, first of all, because I like the flavor, but also because it has less sugar and I find that overall that balances the sweetness of the fudge. You can use chocolate chips or your favorite chocolate bar. One of the other main ingredients in this fudge recipe is sweetened condensed milk. You can use the regular store-bought kind. Alternatively, you can also first make my homemade dairy-free sweetened condensed milk or use a store-bought dairy-free version. I like to get started by getting my baking dish ready for easier assembly later on. An 8x8 8 8 inch cake pan is ideal. Line it with parchment paper or wax paper and leave some overhang for easier lifting out later. Now we need a large mixing bowl. To that, add one can or 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk, homemade or store-bought. To that, add a quarter teaspoon of sea salt and one pound of dark chocolate. I'm using chocolate chips this time, a chopped up chocolate bar works too. And finally, three tablespoons of butter or a vegan dairy-free alternative. You can microwave the mixture and stir it in between or melt everything on top of a water bath. The water in the pot underneath should be just gently simmering. Try to stir as best as you can as the chocolate and butter start to melt. It will get easier and easier to stir. Keep stirring until all of the chocolate chips are melted and everything is smoothly combined into an even mixture. This will take about 8 to 10 minutes. When the smooth consistency is achieved, lift the bowl from the water bath and pour the creamy fudge mixture into your prepared baking pan. The fudge mixture is quite thick, so you will need the help of a spatula to get it all out of the bowl. And then try to spread it as best as you can into the corners of the baking pan and smooth out the top. Although we already added some sea salt to the fudge mixture, I like to add a few more sea salt flakes on top. They look great and also further help to balance out the sweetness of the fudge. You can also use any other topping from nuts to crushed candy, toffee bits, whatever you prefer. And now chill the fudge in the fridge for at least two hours. Afterwards, unmold it from the baking pan and use a large knife to slice up the fudge into one by one inch pieces as best as you can. Because I used an eight by eight inch pan, I'm making eight rows and then another eight cuts the other way. It's actually a bit easier to make the cuts kind of halfway along the fudge. And now I need a little break from all the cutting because it is a lot of work. So I'm going to try a little piece. Oh, that smooth, creamy deliciousness is amazing. Now let's finish cutting the fudge. The fudge is now ready to serve or pack it up in an airtight container. And this is how easy it is to make homemade fudge. It's a delicious holiday treat and it's also perfect to wrap up and give away as a homemade holiday gift. I also have a few more flavor varieties of this fudge recipe on my blog. I'm going to link them below in the description, so be sure to look those up as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share this video, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you soon with another delicious recipe. Bye for now.